All right, I'm here. Oh, I like this song too. Ah, oh, such a good series. Thank you. All right, let's pause that. I got, um, I have jazz. December jazz, wintertime music, sweet holiday jazz. That's pleasant. I kind of like that. I got a special beverage. Uh, not, not sponsored. 100% not sponsored. Nobody come after me for this. I am not being paid to drink this on stream. In fact, I wanted to get it because it looks so goddamn weird. Coca-Cola with coffee. <laughs> what psychopath invented this? <laughs> Who made that? It's so weird looking. You did? I've never seen this before. Some people are saying they had it. No, I, I do not think it's going to be base rise only. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I think, it, I think they would sell it as a bundle. It would be insane for them to release rise at $60 on Xbox and PlayStation. And then like six months later, they're like, here's Sunbreak, like completely unhinged. No, 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 no. Base right for console plebs, they deserve it for owning a PlayStation. I own a PlayStation. I own multiple. We're gonna try this out. Oh, hold on. I got to change my audio again. Got to do that. You own everything? Why, why do you... Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> Very curious to see what the color is. I'm assuming just like Coke Brown. It looks like... So that may be a little darker. Please spill over the keyboard. It smells like coffee. It does not smell like Coca-Cola. <laughs> well... <laughs> Sure glad this isn't sponsored. <laughs> the smell is okay. <laughs> okay. Imagine you love the ice cold, refreshing taste of Coca-Cola. Have this in your mind. And then imagine I waddle over with like a huge pump of like sugar coffee syrup. And I just go <laughs> into your drink. And you're like, well, what are you doing, man? And I just go, <laughs> and I just run away. Coca-Cola with coffee. <laughs> It's got like some sharp scent, like a vanilla, like a, like an alcohol or something. It's not actual alcohol, but. Okay. If you hold, if you hold your breath when you're drinking it. You do get kind of like a nice mix of like the cinnamon and the vanilla and the coffee. But if you are breathing in the aroma as you drink it, it's gross. <laughs> oh, that's not pleasant. That's my advice. 
drink it? Don't you have to always hold your breath when you drink something, though? I mean, like, as you're going in to drink, hold your breath before it even reaches your mouth. Hold your breath the entire time because it's got a stink to it. It says mocha. I don't know if there's like, this is the only flavor they had. I don't know if there's like dark coffee or like espresso. How much caffeine? Mm. Mm. Doesn't say. Oh, there we go. 69 milligrams. Nice. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup is the primary ingredient. It's not like an energy drink. I don't know why it exists. <laughs> I don't... I don't, I, I really don't get it. I mean, I like Coke Zero. I almost never drink normal Coca-Cola. I, I mean, of course I like coffee. I like coffee better than tea. I have never once ever been like, I need coffee flavored Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola flavored coffee. Ugh. 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 Yeah, don't get that. <laughs> Look. <laughs> don't get that. <laughs> oh, sh what the? I just turned on big picture mode. That was a mistake. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, more and more news outlets are staking their reputation on Rise releasing multi-platform in January. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll probably get a trailer for something Monster Hunter related at the Game Awards. It's my first day of Mariah Carey season. I haven't heard her yet. January 20th. It's supposed to be coming out on Game Pass. I'm assuming there'll be a tier of PlayStation that will have it as well. It seems like... Finally, we're on the precipice of Capcom finally executing a multi-platform release strategy for Monster Hunter. It only took... How many years? 15? 20? I know what that means though. <laughs> I like how when I search for Monster Hunter, I get results on the movie first. 2004. Almost 20 years. World was multi-platform. Didn't release on PC to start. It's cross-play part of the rumor. I'm willing it into existence. There was a rumor of a next-gen upgrade to Rise. I believe that. Another major expansion in 2023. I do not believe that. I do not think that's going to happen. No. No way. <laughs> no way. I mean, anyone that's played Rise would, or Sunbreak knows, like, there's no room. You can't go any higher. We already have skills that are almost stronger than Monster Hunter Frontier after that game was out for, like, 10 years. Who's even playing anymore? I'm playing. We're going to play today. We're going to figure out the rest of all the inventories. I am. 
I, I might actually get up to MR200. Or AR200. My followers are playing. I'm only playing with one. I'm not even playing with pets. So, we got that going for us. Uh, yesterday, we did Fiorain, Luch Luchica, Gallius, J. That leaves Arlo, Rondine, Minoto, maybe? I, I did use my Nikkei polls off stream. I actually pulled the Pilgrim again, Scarlet. How is Jay? Is he good? Uh, it's difficult to tell. From a support standpoint, he's one of the worst. He's tied with Luchica for support. For DPS, in one of my tests, he did very well. But in another test, Luchica beat him pretty easily. So, I, I need to test more. You think that person thinks that uh, Berserk's going to get nerfed? They wish? They had more followers in the next title updates? I don't think so. I, I would not bet on that. Somebody's playing the Breakers right now. Will Bovis. No, I mean, it, it seems to me like they're really winding down the expansion. Unless they do a complete 180. I'm not saying the title updates have been low effort. But what I am saying is the title updates, for the most part, have been monsters that were in the game already that got a new skin. I'm not wrong. Food is so lovely. 